being very clear about your happiness, you know, like you were talking about with your girl, and you saying yeah. polyamorous. Look, you're 22 years old. My, I was I was talking about Cinnabon, one of the dudes that I trained, and he had like five joints, and then he met this girl who this Brazilian chick. It was funny you were talking about Brazil earlier. Like, um, he Gotta met this Brazilian there. chick who is just so dope, and he had so he had uh, he had a chick who was dirty, filthy, just. Spit in my mouth, fuck my ass, whatever. One for every occasion. Right. And but this chick would like she would take a shower in his in his house, his apartment, and then all of a sudden she'd be like she would just leave her hair in the in the shower and then it would be stopped and he'd be like she'd come out and she'd be like, Oh yeah, your top stopped up. Yeah, but it stopped up because you didn't take your hair out. Mm-hmm. Like and then he got to the point when he started having options, he was like why do I have this woman in my house who doesn't respect my home? Mm-hmm. That you just stuff you, you hair all over the place. You think I should clean your hair up? It's stopped up, and then you just come out. All oh, your hair stopped up. Then he even broke up with a chick because he because she cut she used his bread knife on the on the marble countertops. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Yo, you don't use a bread knife on the marble." And she was like, "I'll stop it." And he was like. Because the other... It's not about the bread knife. That's about disrespect. It's about about asking somebody or letting somebody know, like... It is, but it's not. Because if she'll use your... If you've said clearly, don't do this, and she's still going... She's going, fuck it, I'm going to do what I want to do. Then she doesn't respect you. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, even though, you know, she was, like, down for the crown, he just was like, I don't want this woman in my house who doesn't respect me. Especially when he had somebody... Who would you know? She he would take a shower before he even dried himself off. She was cleaning the tub out, like she was taking care of it. And so it just got to the point where he he was like, I don't want to waste my time with somebody who doesn't cherish my time and respect me and respect yeah. what I give. And so it just got to the point where he couldn't even deal with these these girls who were lesser, less generous, and less. You know, aware, self-aware. So I mean, at 22 years old, I mean, that's so he turned into a monogamous person. I I think if you, I, I don't. (laughs) It's not even just about like having a roster, because I mean, I could probably give up the roster if a girl was good enough. Right, this is what I'm saying. But I just want the freedom to be able, like, I'm I'm going to Atlanta in a couple days. I'm going. I want to be able to if someone the stuff happens. Yeah. Here's here's what I find more over than not when a guy when a when a woman gives a guy that kind of option, a lot of times he won't take the option. The fact that she's like, babe, have a good time, do whatever, you know. Just, you just want your freedom just, sometimes. Just make yeah. sure that you're, and then. And then now knowing I could, I don't have to. Then you're like, do I really want to yeah, yeah. fuck with this chick when I know my chick has got my back and she she doesn't really, she understands I'm a man and I might have these moments and stuff. And, and because she respects that, I don't even want to have the moment because of the fact that she's just so dope. Hmm. And then you get to the point, I mean, I don't know if you're there yet where, like if I if if I'm not if somebody doesn't want to fuck me, I don't want I don't want to I don't want nobody to fuck me that doesn't want to fuck me because mm-hmm. it's not gonna be good anyway. So I mean I know when I was at my, in my twenties I would try and I'm like oh I gotta get this chick to fuck me and now I'm like look if you don't want to do this we could just not do this. Because the reality is there's always somebody else who will want to. Mm-hmm. But you got to believe that you have you have something, some value to give. I'll literally, uh, I, I started doing a thing where if, you know, I, I'd ask a girl for a number. She goes, well, you can have my Instagram. I go, don't even worry about it. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Because it's just an indication of like, if you don't you, want. You're not really you're interested. Not really interested. And then she probably pursues further after that. She probably Did she leave right away or did she ask another question? Or did she, she ask like, what, what do you mean? Why not? Yeah. It's usually. So, uh, a combination of being offended slash maybe intrigued. Like, wait, what? Why? Uh-huh. Like, why? Because you're not interested. You're clearly not. In- you're not serious about this. Well, I barely know you. Like, that's fine. I get it. I'm not asking to come to your house. I'm asking to text with you. But if you're not interested, we don't have to do that. Then it becomes like a reverse sales thing. It's very bizarre where you're like, I'm trying to leave now. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> but wait, like, I have are to- we gonna break up? Or yeah, exactly. You're like, and I'm trying. No, no. Like, we don't have to. You just said you don't want to do it. I don't want to do this now uh-huh. anymore and it's like wait wait but wait, wait, wait but why wait. because and and there's nothing i get the instinct of there that's not like a big big thing on her part but it's an indication she's not serious because maybe point she just out, doesn't trust random men asking for a she, number yeah she, but let, she might not all right so if brad pitt said yo right. give me a number she would go <laughs> take you my instagram find me on instagram Fuck out of here. 
Really? I, I don't. I don't get bothered by that. I kind of respect her more because, like, oh, okay, she doesn't trust every random Maybe, dude to give her but number. But for like me, that. it's I, I come. It might be a generational thing too. I don't know, but because you me, can text on Instagram. Yeah, without a doubt. But you also know when someone's interested and when they're not. And then you know if they're trying to keep distance or they're really tr- you know when somebody's into you and when maybe somebody- she's into you but she just needs more persuading or she's just playing hard to but get. But I mean he's also this is, not his, get, this is not his first know? this is not yeah. his first rodeo right. and so he, he he's so in essence what he's saying is my time how how much it even takes for me to figure this out is not worth it. It's not your, worth it. Yeah, and I'd I'm rather not gonna not. play the game so because you, I've asked for numbers and gotten the numbers so I know that it's not every whim, every woman or most women. When they're attracted and there's a connection, they are interested and will give That's you the That's another number. thing. I, I, I will counsel dudes and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, she don't really talk on the phone. Do you talk on the phone? Oh, yeah, I would prefer to talk. Then why are you dealing with somebody who don't want to talk on the phone? Somebody, People talk on the phone to the people they give a fuck about. Right. You sure. make time for anybody that you want. That you, that you right. think is important. Yeah. So... If if you you know if you if I'm a guy who talks on the phone and she don't want to talk well you know, and you just go I mean I know that seems like a really uh, small thing for somebody to to cut it off for because you don't want to talk on the phone but relationships are difficult enough without dealing with dumb compromises that you don't have to uh, that you don't have to put up with. And also, it's not necessarily the end all be all of the relationship, but it's usually an indicator of other things, mm-hmm. like all that little, like the bread knife thing was not. It's not about the bread knife. It's not about the well, marble if you, counter. If you encompass that with the fucking, the tub. Right, and right? it's also a reaction how you react to the request. So if my girl asks me something like, "Hey, baby, could you just not do? Can you not put that there because I have a reason?" You and. You assess, like, is that a reasonable request on her part? Is it fair? And that was reasonable, fair, and firm. That's the whole point of reasonable. Is, is it the, reasonable is the request, for her? Is the request reasonable? Did I did Patrice, is my request that she not use the knife on the marble countertop reasonable? Yeah. It's reasonable, right? Um, was the res- Is her response to that reasonable? No. No. The response of, like, what? Fuck you. That's not a reasonable response. So right away... It's done. So, right. you know, and then. Or she goes, whoa, I, oh, this dude is different. I'm really intrigued by it. And because she's intrigued by it, then she, she knows that she has to reassess how she's going to communicate with you. But fuck being intrigued. To me, it's about just human decency. If somebody asks you not to do something right, right, on their end and it's not an unreasonable request, why wouldn't you? You know, I, I, I get it, but I, I think sometimes people are in situations where they've, especially got, guys have, have made such a, uh, they've made such consignments just to get some pussy. Yeah. That women are accustomed, they're not accustomed to somebody saying my happiness is important. Right. And then when you do that, what you're saying is my value is more important than, than you, yours. Than you think that, well, I believe that my value, like I always say, you know, guys will always say, Hey, listen, if you're not interested, I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want you to waste my time. But they always preface it by, I don't want to waste your time, right? I never say, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah, neither do I. Like, I don't give a fuck about your time. I don't know you enough, but I do give a fuck about my time, and I want you to be clear to know that I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who's not worth my time. You man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.